I want to help you succeed. I want to give you some tips as qualifiers and also some tips as closers. Hey, Tom Ping, love what you're doing on your channel, buddy. Super congrats, you know, giving your time and energy to nonprofit business channel. Look, man, keep driving that audience. So Tom Ping, look forward to spending some time with you. I know you got the right mindset, so I'd love for you to share some of that from the big V. God bless, be great. To next. In our company, we have multiple levels of sales. At the top, we have sales director. Finally, we have one now. And then we have sales manager. And then we have sales leader. And then we have closer. And then we have qualifier. Qualifiers make money. Closers make more money. Sales leader make more money because they make money on the whole team. And manager make money on multiple teams. Now our sales director make money on the whole company, basically. Everyone in this training group is qualifier. Maybe a few people are closers. You're at the qualifier level because you only want $5 million down a month. You don't even want the money. As a qualifier, you make $5 million, you're out. Let me talk about qualifier and closer and their responsibilities. Everything on this screen is qualifier responsibility. Qualifier need to find customers and make the first contact and play the numbers game. Qualifiers do this and closers do this, presentation and follow-up. If you are a qualifier, you set up the appointment, you set up the appointment and you pass to the closer. And then the closer will do the presentation and follow up and close the deal. When the closer closed the deal, you make money too as a qualifier. You make commission. The key is the deal has to be closed. If your closer is not following your appointments, then you're not going to make any money. Everybody understand that? Yes. Yes. I want to help you succeed. I want to give you some tips as qualifiers and also some tips as closers. First one is for the qualifier, you have to follow up with the closer. You call the customer, the customer wants a meeting and you are signed out to the closer, but that's not good enough because closers are very busy. Sometimes they're very busy. They handle many, many leads. Sometimes they ignore you. They think you're new people. They don't want to do your lead. So they don't call your lead. If they don't call your potential customer and uh, nothing from you is closed, then you make no commission. So the best way to solve that problem is that you tell the closer that you want to call the customer with the closer. You force the closer to call with you. So you know that they're handling your potential customers. And two is in my company, I want you to become a closer in two months. I don't want you to stay as a qualifier forever because you will never learn sales that way. A salesperson should be able to do all four steps. If you can only do the first two, then you're not really sales. We have qualifiers that only do the first two steps because we know most salespeople will only want $5 million down and they don't have any experience. So we give them something easy to do. But we expect qualifiers to learn how to be sales and become closer within two months. This means you have to learn the product too. Learn about the product, go to the trainings because you need to be a closer. And also call the customer with the closer so you learn how to become a closer. Everybody clear so far? The third tip I want to give you is pick a location and industry. Remember, we talked about wholesale county. And one of the things people do is they go to the first page of wholesale county and they call this company. All 15 of you are going to call this one company. And that's not going to work because there's conflict. This lead will only go to the first person that calls, not the other 14. Avoid this type of conflict. I want you to pick a province. I want you to pick an industry so that you don't have these conflicts. For example, Truk is working on fashion in District 5. Q is working on uh, fashion in District 7. New is working on uh, coffee growers in the lab. When you focus on a specific industry and location, you will not have conflict. Please work with your closer and your leader to identify what that location industry is.
And the last tip I want to give to qualifier is good time management. You're going to call hundreds of people every day. The reason why you can't do it, one, you're scared. You don't want to call. And two, you don't know how to manage your time. Usually it's one, almost always one. So your schedule should look like something like this. From 8.30 to 9, maybe you get on a call and review with closer leader. From uh, 9 to 10, you get 100 leads from Hoso County. Remember, you're not researching. You're just copying the data. You're just, like, just copying company, contact person, phone number, industry. You just copy to a sheet. It's very easy. In one hour, you can do 100. And from 10 to 12, all you do is you make phone calls. You call the 100 leads. Remember what we said. Every call is less than three minutes. And 98 out of 100 calls will say no. You can go through those calls very fast. It'll be like this. Uh, I'm not interested. Uh, I'm busy right now. I have no demand. Uh, cannot connect. It's okay. Next. You're only looking for the two to five potentials. And from 12 to one, you have lunch. From one to two, usually we have product training. From two to three, we do the same thing again. You get another 100 leads. And from three to five, you make 100 calls. If you do this, you will make between 100 and 200 calls a day, maybe more. Get approximately four to 10 potential customers that you can pass to closer. But if you do that, that's a good day. And if out of 10, we close one, that means one deal a day. That's pretty good. But most of you will make three calls and close zero. And I kick you out. In order to get results, this is the number you have to make every day. Any questions about qualifier? Any questions about qualifier tips? Uh, no, 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 have any question. Now moving to closer. You gotta learn the product fast. You cannot do presentation. You cannot answer questions if you don't know the product. So use product training, use training videos, get a demo account. You must learn the product fast, otherwise you can't sell. What do you do when you don't know the product? Maybe it takes you a couple of weeks, maybe two weeks to learn everything. And what do you do in that two weeks? Let me give you a powerful weapon that you can use now to close deals. It's called workshop. Every Wednesday, we have a go sale workshop. Usually we do it in the office, but now we do it online. This is a very effective tool for you to close customers while you're learning the product. If you invite the customer to the workshop, the close rate is about 25%. 25% of the customers, one in four, will buy the product on that same day. 80% of those customers that come to the workshop will eventually buy. It may take them three weeks, may take them two months, but eventually they will buy it. If you don't know how to close the customer yet, if you don't know how to do presentation, send the customer to workshop so that we do the hard work for you. We close the customer for you. You just have to get the contract done and close the deal. So far, so good, everybody? Yes. And also, I want to remind you to follow up. This is one of the biggest mistakes for closers. They do everything, and then they don't follow up. And then I have to give the customer to someone else to close. Any questions about closer tips? What is the secret weapon? How can you close deals when you're learning the product? Anyone? Okay, somebody's listening. I'm almost done with this training. I just want to talk about maybe uh, two, two more things. Now I want to talk about product and then I want to talk about CRM. If you listen to what I said earlier about asking questions, you know, our product is truly powerful. Does everybody understand what I said? When I talk about questions, everybody understand what I said? Anyone don't understand what I said? Anyone who understand the questions I asked? Yes. You understand? Anyone else? Yes. yes. I understand. Too. Okay, good, good you know our product can do a lot of things. If you think we're just a company that build websites, you're wrong. There's 10,000 companies that can do that in Vietnam. We're not one of them. We're much more than just building a website. Again, you have to learn the product in order to understand how powerful our product is. Most customers, most people, most businesses don't really understand e-commerce in Vietnam. They know they have to do it during COVID-19 but they don't know how to do it. And there's 10,000 companies out there telling them that build a website is e-commerce and they don't get results. We are not like them. When customers buy our product every week, we're training them something different, how to build membership, how to use discount codes, 
how to build online offline point of sale, how to use customer segmentation, teaching them how to put their business in Google search result and teaching them how to manage their inventory, how to control their employees. We teach them everything they need to do to build a truly successful online and offline business. We're the only company that does that in Vietnam. And this is extremely important because a lot of businesses are suffering. Most businesses are closed. Your mission, if you choose to take it, is to help all those businesses get online so that they can survive in COVID and even better, expand and grow during this time. Yes, making money is very important. I want you to make lots of money, not five million, but there's an even greater purpose here. We're here to help people, help their businesses, because there's a lot of suffering out there. A lot of people losing their jobs, a lot of businesses closing down. The sooner we can help them, the sooner they can get back to normal. There's no better cause, a normal, noble cause, right cause, good reasons to do this. And that is your mission if you choose to take it. How do you feel about that? Do you like this mission? So like it. One person. I like Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. That's it? Yes. Yes, sure. Yes. I'm not convinced. You're just here to make five million dong and fail, right? Oh. Who wants to make five million dong? So how many calls you have to make to get two orders? 100 calls. Well, right. Can you make 100 calls a day? Yes. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I don't know. I think you're going to stay at home and watch TV all day. Yes, no. Because nobody's watching you. You're working from home. And when we ask you to call, you'll say, well, I, I don't know how to do it. I'm still new. No, need to try to call. You will, right? Call. Yes. All those businesses waiting for you to save them. You're like Spider-Man. You're like Superman. You're like Iron Man. But you just let them die. You're too busy like jacking off. Like they're uh, dying. Yeah, well, whatever. My uncle said, with great power comes great responsibility. Anybody know where that came from? What do you mean? No. From oh, Spider-Man's uncle. They don't watch movies. Because they have no money. They cannot watch movies. I just know who Uncle Ben was. I don't know what he said. Last thing I want to talk about is CRM. I know most of you never used CRM before because most Vietnamese businesses are not that advanced like us. But I want you to think about this problem. If every day you're calling 100 customers, 200 customers, how are you going to remember everything? Are you going to remember what they said? Are you going to remember their names? Are you going to remember what they're going to buy? Are you going to remember that they have two kids live in District 7 and their grandma is in the United States? Yes, no. No. No, right? When the customer calls you back, hey, remember me? And you're going to say, no. And then you lose the deal because no one likes to do business that they don't remember. This is how CRM will help you. With CRM, you record everything. You put all the information about the customer in the system. So when you call them or when they call you, you know exactly what you said to them and what they said. In fact, all the phone calls are recorded. You can listen to all the calls. It's only when you use system like that, then you can close 20, 30, 40, 50 orders a month. If you don't use a system, maybe you close two deals and then we fire you. You must use a system so you remember everything. Everybody understand? CRM is very powerful. It also has alerts. If you can't remember who to follow up, you can set alerts. It will remind you to follow up customers. Maybe you have 100 customers. With CRM, you can say these ones are very potential. They will buy this week. These one, maybe they will buy this month. These ones, they will buy in the next three months. And these ones, not potential. I don't care. You can actually categorize your customers. If you know how to leverage, use the power of CRM, you can close a lot of deals. Now, we're going to talk about segmentation. I want you to think about the kind of customers you're talking to. One is single mom. They stay at home. They have no business. They take care of baby. Type two is street vendor selling bummy on the street, but they cannot do business now because of COVID. And three is one store selling toys. Four is maybe five stores selling health foods. Number five is 10 to 20 stores. They're across multiple provinces in Vietnam. Number six is maybe they are a manufacturer. They actually make the products and they distribute across all Vietnam. Everyone understand my categorization? Yes. 
Question. What kind of customer you want to sell to? One, two, three, four, five, six. Anyone. Fi and she. Who said that? Okay, I like you because you think big. Our product is good for five and six. When you do five and six, that's where you get the big deals. Two hundred million down, three hundred million down, five hundred million down, and that's where you make the money. But most salespeople they're scared to do five and six because they think, well, they're such a big company, they would never want to talk to me. So they don't do it, and they don't get the deal. Five and six need go sell more than uh, any other category. So think big. Don't be like a little girl. You know, you see a big dick, and you go, oh, "It's too big." I promise you, it will fit. Okay, it will fit. It will fit. Just try it. Three and four also good. One and two avoid. Don't do them. If the business is too small, they will say, "I don't have the money right now," and you waste your time. Everybody understand? Yes. 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 Yes, sir. I want you, everyone. I want you. Three and four, you should have twenty potentials at any time. Five and six, I want you to have three to five potentials at any time. It doesn't mean you can close right now, but you will close some this month. If you don't have the potentials, find them. Ask your qualifier to find them. Understand? Yes. It'll fit. 